Hello and welcome to Brainy Gardener. Today it is all about how to grow and care for the orchid cactus. The orchid cactus is one of the most popular cacti in cultivation. It is beautiful and easy to care for, making it an excellent addition to any garden. The orchid cactus is native to Mexico and can be found growing in the wild. Natively, it grows as an epiphytic cactus, meaning it makes its home between the branches of trees and wraps its roots around their trunks. It grows in the shade and is never exposed to the harshness of direct sunlight. It only reaches about one foot in height, but it can spread up to three feet in the right conditions. The orchid cactus is named for its beautiful flowers that resemble those of an orchid. They are typically bright red blooming in the summer and are the highlight features of these cacti. They are easy to grow and relatively low maintenance. The orchid cactus is a shade-loving plant and will do best in indirect light. It can deal with small doses of direct sunlight but too much will scorch the stems and cause the plant to become lanky and etiolated. Instead, consider placing the cactus under the uneven shade of a tree or giving it some protection with a transparent curtain. These plants have a trailing habit that looks great on a hanging basket. You can also try to replicate their natural habitat by hanging them on a support. These plants will do best in temperature between 50 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. If you are growing these plants indoors, Provide them with warmer temperatures in the spring and summer. In the colder months, move the plant to a somewhat colder location. The orchid cactus is native to humid climates. It prefers to be constantly moist but not wet. Therefore, allow the topsoil to dry out slightly between watering and make sure the pot has drainage holes. Orchid cactus like high humidity. If the air is too dry, try grouping your cacti with other orchids that like moisture in the air. Place them on a pebble tray and regularly spray with a light water mist to keep the moisture levels up. A humidifier is an easy solution if you have one. It is a fast-growing plant that will benefit from being fertilized monthly during the growing season. Use a balanced fertilizer diluted to half strength and apply when you water. However, be careful not to overdo it, as too much fertilizer will burn the roots of your plant. These plants are relatively easy to propagate from stem cuttings. The best time to take the cuttings is in late spring or early summer when the plant is actively growing. Cut a 3-5 to five inch piece from a healthy stem. Allow the cutting to callus over for a few days and then pot it in a well-draining potting mix. Keep the cuttings moist and in bright, indirect light, and they should start to root within a few weeks. These plants can also be propagated by seeds, but it is a much slower process. Seeds are hard to come by so most gardeners do not recommend this process. Use a porous potting mix to plant these cacti. Regular soil is too constricting, and these plants are naturally epiphytes and hate having their roots covered with dense potting medium. These plants will need to repot very often. Every five to six years should be enough. When you repot, make sure to use a well-draining potting mix and a pot that is slightly larger than the previous one. Wait until after they've bloomed before repotting. If you repot during the flowering season, there is no chance any flowers will survive the transition. The orchid cactus is non-toxic to people and pets. These plants are relatively pest-free, but the occasional critter can sometimes make an appearance. Watch out for mealybugs and aphids. These sapsuckers are the most common. Snails might also become a problem if you're keeping the cactus outside. Move it indoors and take the appropriate measures to get rid of the problem as soon as possible. 